Welcome back to the channel. This is Model Rockets 321 here. We do model rocket stuff on this channel, model rockets, space, science, and I visit some places, Titan Museum. Coming up soon, I'm going to the Kennedy Space Center. If you didn't already see that video, if it's not already up, check it out. So today we are going to talk about the top model rocket companies and brands. Not necessarily the top rockets, just the top model rocket brands. I ran a poll and I had Century, Estes, MPC, and Quest. I was a little disappointed in the number that Quest got. Quest is a great, great rocket company. Um, started by Bill Stein. I mean, come on. This is a great, great company. Started in 1992. Put out some great kits. They brought the little Kevlar and had Kevlar involved with a little piece of elastic. I liked what they did. Um, let me show you an example. The Quest, the DCY Clipper. This is the Quest kit. Come on, the votes were so low, which makes me a little disappointed. People, this should have had more votes. Quest, Quest, see that logo right there? Quest, they should have had more votes. So, I don't know what happened with you guys. They should have had more votes on the Quest Rockets. But I understand, you had Estes in there, you had Century in there, but Quest should have had more votes. They should have had more votes. Anyway, so that kicked it off. Quest, let me get back to them a little bit. Like I said, it started in 1992 by Bill Stein. Put out a bunch, a bunch of great kits. Here's another example of one of theirs. This is the Space Shuttle Intrepid. Little glider detaches and it comes on back home on its own while the booster falls on the parachute. Quest put out some great products. They had a Nike Smoke out there. The little Pipsqueak, which I showed before, had it right. Where is it? Little Pipsqueak. Just a little basic little rocket, but I like it. Quest. Quest did some amazing things and um, they need some more respect. So show some respect to Quest. And this is the DCY Clipper based on the early launching moving around and re-landing. They really did it. This is the this is based on that. It's not like perfect scale, but it's like semi-scale. Um, so the Delta Clipper was the original, I believe it was called, and this is the Space Clipper. Kind of play on that, but Quest Aerospace, that kicks it off as one of the great model rocketry companies. Look them up. They still got product out there. Next up, uh, we're going to go to, this is no special order. I'm just throwing them all out there, the top model rocket companies. Let's look at this. We're going to go Lock Precision. Lock Precision, another great one. Lock Precision, Barry Lynch, I believe the guy's name was, created. they do high power rockets for the most part. High power, mid power, but they recently came out with some low power stuff like this. I love the Iris, one of my favorite, favorite scale models, sounding rocket design. Great. Lock Precision, another good one. Another good one. Look them up. We're going to keep it moving. Let's jump right into this one right here. Apogee Components. Everybody knows Apogee. I've been ordering from, for them, from them for years. Many parts, kits, pieces. Um, Tim Van Milligan, rocket scientist. He has a channel over at Apogee. They're doing great things. This is the SR-72 Darkbird. I really want to build this one day, but I'm kind of like collecting it. Uh, I think they're still available. I'm not sure though. They may still be out there. But this is similar to the SR-71 Blackbird, except this one kicks out a pod and it actuates the elevators and it's this rocket glides back home. Something I was playing with with my SR-71 Blackbird Project X. If you saw those videos, check those videos out. Um, I was doing a rear ejected parachute, so the SR-71 Black with two engines, rear ejection, so the uh, parachute would come out and, um, you know, from the rear. Finally got it to work, but I had to do front ejection. This is traveling too fast and it rips off everything I could create. Um, so I just played with it for a very long time. It took a few years to get it just right, but I got it to work eventually. So Apogee Components, SR-72 Darkbird. Let's keep it moving on. Let's keep it moving. What we got next? Let's get to this. Let's get to this company right here. Quest. I mean, sorry. Custom. Custom. Custom rocketry. This is a very old one. This is called the Lightning. It's a D-Power two-stage rocket called the Lightning by Custom. They're still out there. They don't, their design is different from this now. They have a way different product line now. Um, it's okay. It seems like it's more for entry level. For It seems like it's really for little kids if you're just getting into the hobby. But this was the days when they were doing, look at these twos. These are probably BT-60s or so. Um, really tough and heavy duty. This is a big rocket here. This one's 46 inches tall. D, like I said, um, D engine, two stager. Custom. Custom Rocket is just another company that's out there you guys can check out. I'm going to keep this going on. Be sure to go check the vote also. Like, check the, click, click the community tab and you can go vote for the top rocketry company if it's still, if the video is up. I just had four companies on there. And also, sorry if I missed your company. If you have a company, send me some product. I'll cover what you have. Um, 
I'll cover it. I'll do you and I'll put a video on here for you. But anyway, let's keep moving to another great one. Here we go. Fliss Kits, Jim Fliss, Fliss Kits, great, great company. They came out in like 2002, I believe, that company started releasing uh, model rockets. They put some good stuff out. Um, this is the Boralis. This It's similar to their dead ringer with these ring design. I think, oh, this is a great, great rocket. I never haven't built one yet, but great. Got these tubes, these small tubes here, and I think some gases travel, I believe, and make the top, it's just a great, no really, a, not a body tube, it's these three skinny tubes here. Bliss kits, Deuces Wild, I mean, the Drake, lots and lots of great stuff over there. A lot of good ones. They got, they have a, the Journeyman, some scale over there. A lot of different rockets. So that's why I like Bliss kits. Um, very good, very good, um, very good company. Very good company. I mean, stuff is quality too. Good quality parts. Made in the US. Bliss kits. That's another one. Another one of the great modern rocket companies out here. So to keep this moving, what we got next? Let's get to this. Let's get this out the way. Edmonds Aerospace Boost Gliders. If you do competition, boost glider flying, if you've been around this hobby, you know Edmonds. And a lot of these are just, this is an early one too. Like look at this packaging, Edmonds Aerospace. I'm not sure. I think his name was Greg Edmonds. I'm not sure if the company's still around. I don't see them as much as I used to. Um, I know BMS Balsam Machining was making the parts at some point. This was years ago. I'm talking years ago stuff. You had to be around a hobby and following. So I'm not sure if they're still being produced, actually. You may still be able to find some Edmonds Aerospace gliders. They make, I've seen big giants. He makes some like mid-power boost gliders, which are cool. So this is the, um, I think it's the Delta. Yeah, it's the Delta B or something like that. Actually, it's a Delta. It's a 13 millimeter Delta. I have the Delta B and some other ones, but Edmonds Aerospace. Be sure to check them out. Do a search and you may be able to still find some of their kits if they're not out of production and, you know, skyrocket prices now. But Edmonds Aerospace, that's another one. To keep moving on, MPC, MPC. This company started, I forget what year, it was some years ago. This guy, George Tolip, I believe his name was, and um, Branster, um, Dick Branster. They were doing plastic model kits in the, in, in the beginnings from, from, from what I understand. Um, then they moved into the model rocketry stuff and made some good kits. Like, I really like this. This is a three-stage Ramami to far side, got a payload section. Real great kit. It's like, it's all complete. It's all in there. I had this one for some years. Um, really good kits. I have another one around too, another kit of theirs. They had some very unique stuff and they were trying to do things a little differently. You know, had some integrating some plastic parts and stuff like that. But MPC, you can look them up. Some of their kits are around. They don't go for a ton of money. Depending on what you find, if it's mint condition, you may pay a little more, but definitely out of production. Vintage stuff here, vintage. Um, so yeah, you, on the side, even side of the box, show their launch pad and their launch controller and some engines, things like that. But MPC, another good one. Just one um, in, for the history books when it comes to rocketry. Now we're gonna move to, let's move to this beauty right here. And company, North Coast Rocketry, the Scorch. Shout out to Matt Steele. Um, I purchased this um, directly from the company, came, no problem. Super quality parts, quality cone, everything was done to perfection. Great decals to give you a nice set of decals to make this rocket right here. Um, North Coast has the F-117, the, the Javelin, they have some great, great kits. And the SLS is gonna be coming out um, at some point. I know Matt posted a picture of that. So North Coast Rocketry is in there. There's definitely an association with um, Estes, with Matt Steele and North Coast Rocketry and all that stuff. It's a it's all tangled up. I don't really, I don't know. I had to get Matt to explain it to me. I had to bring him on here and explain the whole, the links. He told me in person before, I just forget. But North Coast Rocketry is its own thing. And there was some North Coast mid-power rockets that came out through SD some years ago. And But anyway, North Coast Rocketry, great, great, great stuff right here. So as we keep this moving on, we're going to keep this moving on. Let's get to my Holy Grail piece. Be sure to visit the Model Rockets 321 Space Shop for logo tees, mugs, and other space-related merchandise. My Century Little Joe 2, still sealed. Great company, out of production now, out of business. Estes purchased them years ago. Um, Lee Peaster, legend. He's out here in Arizona where I'm at. Um, he owns Hobby Bench. I believe there's two stores left. He, he still runs. 
Every time I stop in the shop, I ask for him to see if he's around, but one day I'll catch up to him. So, Little Joe 2, it's by Century. Cannot go wrong with this. Um, you can't go wrong with a Century purchase. If you see one around, grab one, get one in your collection. Um, Century is great. These tend to, tend to go for a lot of money. It's maybe one of the top highest price rocket kits. There's some other ones out there that goes up there too, but th this one is definitely one of those ones that's on the upper side of pricing. And this is my grail piece. This is my grail rocket favorite of all time. There are many greats though, I say that, but this Lil Joe 2 is way up there, way up there as far as um, top, top, top. Now we're gonna keep it moving right along. Last and definitely not least, when it comes to model rocket companies, Estes, Estes. This is the last one of this series. This is the Estes Lil Joe 2. Great, really comparable to my Apollo one. They're the same scale. Um, the newer version uses a little more tech, a little more technology to get some things done. You know, so you got your four fins, they're all plastic. And this one, I believe you have to build the fins up. Um, if my mistake, I never opened up the Century one, but Estes, you cannot go wrong. They are started by Vern and Glada Estes, Penrose, Colorado. A lot of people know the story already. There's a nice film out on, that's on YouTube about um, Estes, the history of Estes. He said they bought out Century and just been a lot of change of hands. I think Bill Stein is the president right now. So just a lot of history there. And then there's Mallory. I think she's vice president. So, something. I don't I don't know all the players and the connections. I just remember some names off the top of the head. But Estes, they've been doing a great job these last few years. I do remember their drop-off point, though, in Rockets Village. Really, some of them sucked. But <laughs> now they're back. Um, I like what they're doing. They're really killing it. They're marketing. I'm watching what they're doing. It's like, wow, it's amazing to see them still continue to take our money <laughs> they put out some good stuff so um and they give us a nice amount of scale kits and they seem to bring back some re reproductions so estes i saved them for last just just worked out that way estes and century i'm just grabbing what's around me but estes century north coast there's uh there's some more out there i'm just missing i'm missing more i'm gonna have to do another video on this because there's other companies out there like simrock and this is some great great ones if they're still around, I always get confused. I know sometimes they go away, somebody buy a company, and I don't know. But Estes, that is the final one for the day. Just to show you, just to, like I said, Quest. Give Quest some more love. Give Quest some more love. So this is Model Rockets 321. This has been my top Model Rocket company video. Subscribe to the channel. I bring you more stuff like this. Hit that like button, subscribe, check out the community tab. Also check us out on Instagram at Model Rockets 321.